Hi, everybody, and welcome to this week's podcast. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe during this season of social distancing. As I've talked to a lot of people, I noticed that uh, many are now beginning to, this thing is really setting in, and, and people are beginning to be worried and fearful about what does the future look like and, and how are things going to change for us permanently as we go forward. A couple of words of encouragement, a couple of passages out of the book of Hebrews in chapter 10. Starting in verse 16, it says from the New King James Version, Therefore do not lose heart, even though our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man is being renewed day by day. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, is working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we do not look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. So keep your eye on the eternal, the things that nobody and no situation, no circumstance can ever take away from you. Later in that same chapter, uh, starting uh, again, Hebrews 10, starting in verse 32, this is from the Passion tra Translation. I really like the way they put it. It says, don't you remember those days right after the light shined in your hearts? You endured a great marathon season of suffering hardships, yet you stood your ground. And at times you were publicly and shamefully mistreated, being persist, uh, persecuted for your faith. Then at other times you stood side by side with those who preached this message of hope. You sympathized with those who were in prisons, and when all your belongings were confiscated, you accepted that violation with joy, convinced that you possess a measure, a treasure growing in heaven that would never be taken from you. So listen to this now. It says, so do not lose your bold, courageous faith, for you are destined for a great reward. You need the strength of endurance to reveal the poetry of God's will, and then you receive the promise in full. So encourage yourself in the Lord, just as David did at Ziklag when he had lost everything along with his men. And uh, encourage yourself in the Lord and, and just keep your eye on the eternal. God bless you.